This week, Donald Trump did something that the political class actually liked. Our troops will fight to win. A New York Times reporter called this Trump's best speech as president. Politicians from both parties were suddenly happy. I think there'd be a lot of bipartisan support in Congress for this proposal. I'm proud, I'm relieved. The political class likes the idea of a powerful president going to war. That's why I'm relieved that there are at least a few people to say, wait a second, Afghanistan is now America's longest war ever, 17 years. More troops are not the answer. Before Trump spoke, I talked to one person who gets that. You say America should get out of Afghanistan and Iraq. Look, John, next year in the budget, we've got $43 billion in Afghanistan of military spending. That's as much as Great Britain or Germany or France spend on their entire military. We are gonna pour down a rat hole in Afghanistan. It's our 17th year of the war. That means the year after next, we will have troops deploying to a war that started before they were born. We are, it's the longest war America has ever had. And it is bankrupting our country. It's the graveyard of empires, and we've spent trillions of dollars there. There, there are other wars going on in Afghanistan. We've spent $8 billion on a war against poppy seeds, against heroin in Afghanistan. In the period of time that we've spent $8 billion trying to reduce production of poppy in Afghanistan, they have doubled production. I think if we would cut the spending that we're using on the war against drugs in Afghanistan, maybe they would cut production. The reality is we're not even trying to cut their production because it would disrupt their economy so much. I asked the inspector general, could you spray Roundup, you know, the stuff that kills weeds? Could you spray Roundup on those poppy fields? Would that work? He said, of course it would work. It's a plant, it's subject to herbicides, it would, it would die quickly. I said, why don't we do it? He said, it'd be far too effective. It would like work instantly and it would disrupt their economy. So what, I, and it would, it would agitate the Taliban who now generate revenue off of that. If we pull out, people say, the Taliban will come back, Al Qaeda will come back. We have to fight it over there so they don't fight us over here. The people that say the Taliban will come back need to acknowledge the Taliban never went away. We built a hydroelectric dam there and 30% of the power goes to the Taliban. We are not going to impose a, a democratic republic on them. It's not going to happen. After 17 years, I think we need to acknowledge that. In addition to the trillions of dollars of military spending, we've spent over $100 billion on their infrastructure. Our highway trust fund is $50 billion a year. For what we've spent in Afghanistan, we could have doubled our, our highway trust fund for two years in a row. Think about what that would have done for this country.